compliment the chef or whoever made the banging meal. You let them know. You walk up to them and say, D did you make that sweet potato pie? Today we're going to be talking about the things that make Thanksgiving just go crazy, that drive you crazy. That's what we're going to be ranting about today, so let's get it. Miller Flow Vlogs is a social media account dedicated to positive lives through family vibes. I said that. Walk away totally from there, okay? Right. It is positive vibes through vibes. And if you're interested in that positivity, that positivity comes through the Miller family. Now, we're not perfect, but we are a family indeed. So you will see sports highlights. You will see positive living, positive living, positive travel, and um, just positive, positive, positive. Anyways, if that's what you're interested, click that like button. Hit that bell so you can turn on your post notifications and be updated with the latest and greatest in Miller Flow, God, Miller Flow vlogs. Man, I'm tongue tied today. Anyways, let's get into this crazy thing. This is for my internationals. They understand this very well. Look, when we come to Thanksgiving and you haven't seen me in a long time and I have international parents and all of that, I ain't speaking their language. I speak English. English. That's what you do. I know some internationals, they go through that. You know, they see their family and their family just start coming up to them. Like, Habla English. <laughs> That's what I talk. English. It ain't nothing that drives the, 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 the child or anybody who is from an international family crazy. We speak English. I don't speak your language. It's not an insult. I'm not trying to disrespect you in any kind of way. English. English, please, please. Ain't nothing like getting one of them relatives that come up to you, you know, and you they like, look at you like, don't go on back. No, I, I ain't gonna talk back like that. I can't do that. I speak English and it's okay. I respect the fact that you love your negative language. And this is nothing against my bilingual peoples. I love ya. I love ya. But the kids in your family, they're not bilingual. We speak English. Talk to me in English. Okay? Please, 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 please. Don't do that during Thanksgiving. That, 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 that drives us crazy. Speak to me in the language that I know. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane when it comes to Thanksgiving. Don't try and go out of your lane. And people, keep people in their lane. Okay, what am I talking about? I'm talking about... Like, you asked me to cut the turkey. I can't cut turkey. You want people having the messed up slices or the slices that they like? People like the slices and soup. You don't want me cutting it because you're going to have like a fist in one and then a little thin piece in another. Stay in your lane. I ain't never cut turkey. I don't know how to cut turkey. I'm not learning to cut turkey. Keep me in my lane. That's how Thanksgiving gets messed up. When you start trying new stuff with people. No, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Uh, if I do good cranberry sauce, let me do the cranberry sauce. And that's it. I don't need to be cutting turkey. Don't ask me to cut turkey. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is stay in your lane, people. Stop trying this new stuff. Look, if you don't know what you're doing, don't try to cook anything new people come to thanksgiving to eat the thanksgiving food from the people that make it a certain way i'm very particular about my potato salad i said tater salad not potato salad tater salad i'm not gonna eat new potato salad i just said potato anyway i'm not gonna eat it because it's potato it's not tater i want tater salad Give me the tater salad made by aunt so-and-so. That's the tater salad I eat. Stay in your lane. Stop trying new stuff. I'm going to ask the person who made the tater salad. Uh, and when you go, uh, and you don't know, uh, -uh I ain't touching it. I ain't touching it. Because you didn't stay in your lane. That's how things get messed up in Thanksgiving. Because people don't stay in their lane. Let me tell you. You wonder why everybody got sick last year? guarantee you it's because somebody did not stay in their lane they went and tried something new that they didn't know how to do now i'm not saying if you know how to do it 
and you're good at cooking and you can do new stuff, go ahead. That's your lane, though. That's your lane. You can do that. But not everybody can do that. I'm not one of those people. Stay in your lane. And say Thanksgiving stays good and safe. Another thing that makes Thanksgiving crazy, and this is probably more directed towards the younger people, it drives them crazy when you want to talk to them about something maybe personal and it's just not the right time. What am I talking about? You know, that one uncle that got to come up to you and say, you know, you know, your mama said, well, mama said it. I, I probably already heard it. I don't need it repeated. Why am I being this way? Because I'm hungry. You're coming at the wrong time. I want to eat. I want to eat. It's not time to talk about, well, I heard in school that, yo, you ain't doing it. Look, I will hear you when I get the food in my belly. Once it's in my belly, you can, well, you, you, you got to be leaving. That is why everybody listens to the uncle that tells you that stuff when they're leaving. Hey, so, 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 I, I need to talk to you for a minute. I'm about to go. They telling you, look, I'm leaving. I'm going to drop you a gym that's going to help you in life. And I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I respect the fact that you have now been full. And I just want to give you a good golden nugget. And I'm out the door. That's what you do. Don't try to talk to me. Oh, I ain't seen you in 20 years. You know, I need to tell you something. Your mama said, my mama said it. Then I probably heard it. Okay. I don't need it repeated. I'm hungry. My belly is talking. What will mess Thanksgiving up? Oh, these people. The ones that got to tell you everything about yourself. This is not dealing with certain things you, 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 you're dealing with personally. No, they just telling you about you. Oh, man, you've gotten tall. Well, I've been tall last year. I was tall the year before. I've been playing basketball for about three years. I'm the center of the basketball team. I've been tall. I've been tall. Ooh, child. Then you, this, these are the ones you get. Ooh, child, you getting big. I've been big last year. I was big this year. And I'll be big the next year, Lord willing. I don't know. Why you got to tell me? Or oh, they just said, I understand some people, that's just what they do. They just letting you know. I get it. But Thanksgiving ain't the time to tell me that. <laughs> I've been grown. I've been getting big. Come on. Come on. Let me eat. Let me partake of the good turkey. -eth. You don't want me to partake of the turkey. -eth. You want to tell me how big I've gotten. Well, I'm getting big because of them pies you keep bringing over to Thanksgiving. Maybe stop bringing the pies and then I won't get big. But no, you helping me alone because you getting mad if I don't take your pie. And then you want to tell me how big I'm getting. So I take your pie so you won't get mad. What do you want me to do? Next year, come in skinny and say, no, I'm skinny because I've been eating your pies. Then you'll be mad at me. Then next year, you'll be telling me, you know, your mama said, and then we back at the same thing again. Come on. Come on. Just don't say nothing. Talk about football or something. Something else. Let's not get personal. Stop letting Uncle Joe, who is a pastor of the church down in the old country pray for the food i like my food hot pray get the brother that go thank you lord for the food bless it thank you for the family bless it boom done let's eat food is warm not that brother got to go through the long story about way back in heat your blood to and you be there and the food just cold because they praying long. Stop calling on Uncle Joe to pray. Uncle Joe take too long. It be 10 years, game off and everything. I want to eat hot food. Gotta have hot food. Don't ask Uncle Joe to pray. I'm saying this Thanksgiving, if you don't want any trouble, have respect for the vegetarians. <laughs> the vegetarians. There are actually good vegetables and and meatless meals that you can make for Thanksgiving. Make them happy. Vegetarians are, are, are good people. Now, I'm a meatitarian. I ain't trying to make no vegetarian, no meatitarian. And no vegetarian should <clears throat> be trying to make me a, a meatitarian, a vegetarian. I'm just saying, 
have something for the vegetarian. Keep everybody happy. Keep them thankful. Thank you for considering the vegetarians. There are good meals that vegetarians like to eat on Thanksgiving. Make it for them. That's all I'm saying. Help them out. I'm going to eat the meat. But let them have the vegetarian. Do not leave a Thanksgiving meal without a to-go plate. That's right. Make sure you bring a to-go plate or take a to-go plate. Do not insult the makers of Thanksgiving of the Thanksgiving meal by not taking a plate to go. I don't care, pile that thing. They love it. They love it when you take it all. Take every bit. Take the tray. I don't, take something. It's Thanksgiving. They want you to be thankful. So take something. Please, please, take it. Take it. Take it. That's right. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it home. And eat it for the rest of the week. That's right. Get you a lot. They love it. It's okay. That's what they made it for. And finally, compliment the chef or whoever made the banging meal. You let them know. You walk up to them and say, did, did you make that sweet potato pie? Mm, you killed it. Why? Because then they'll be consistent each year. That's how they stay consistent. They don't jump out their lane because they need them compliments. Give them them compliments. Whoever cut the ham and made the ham real nice, you, ooh, this ham is hitting. Let them know that your ham is hitting. Why? Because it'll stay hitting. That's how people get out of their lane. Y'all don't say nothing to them. They say, ooh, this is good. Hey, well, tell them. It's good. It's great. Keep doing what you're doing. That's how people stay in their lane. Thanksgiving stays smooth. There you go. All right? So that's it. Hope you enjoyed these rants. And enjoy your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you from Miller Flow Vlogs. Peace. That's right. Hey, look, if you are enjoying some of this content, then you want to subscribe over here. And also, for more enjoyment, check out these videos down below. Miller Flow Vlogs here. Peace.